Hey, hey, welcome to the channel today. Um, how was your spring break, dude? Uh, so we went, um, ours was good. I mean, overall, I think the kids had fun. We went down to uh, St. George, uh, Utah, which is quite a ways away from here. It snowed flipping the whole time um, on the way down, so it was kind of crappy that way. But we had fun and all, you know, whatever. Um, crazy uh, events while... Uh, as far as Clash Royale, when I was going down there, uh, the team battle thing, absolutely epic. Ep super fun. Super fun playing the team battle thing. Unfortunately, I didn't get to record any because we're on break and all. But I got some sweet stuff, sweet chests to open up. So we're going to open those up here in a second. Um, kind of disappointed <laughs> because I dropped so far down in trophies. I got an Arena 10 chest. This is only like the third super magical chest that I've gotten. And it was, the, it was Arena 10. It was, I was like sitting there like playing. All of a sudden I got it. I'm like, what? Super excited and all. But then all of a sudden I was kind of sad. Saddened by the fact that it wasn't Arena 11 uh, Super Magical Chest. So that's besides the fact. Anyway, but whilst um, down there, of course, the uh, bandit came out. So that's what I'm hoping for in this Super Magical Chest. I think I have like almost a 70% chance of getting a Legendary. And... If I do get the legendary, of course it's going to be the bandit, right? This morning, I got a lumberjack and a free chest, so that was crazy. Anyway, let's go through these. Let's just open these up, just kind of in order. And then we're just going to hope to get something super, super sweet in that super magical chest. Um, gosh dang. If I get the bandit, dude, I'll tell you what. I don't, know, I, just, I don't know why. I don't even care about leveling up my legendaries. I just like having them all. I just like... I just like to be able to have them all, and that's the only one I don't have, obviously, because it's the newest one. So, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, okay, so obviously we've got some gold, no big deal, but tons of elite barbs, which I need, those. Um, some expos, which, who needs those? Some zaps. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Oh, shit. Oh, that means I'm not going to get a freaking legendary. Oh, that is so frustrating. What the fetch? Oh my gosh, you have a 70% chance and then I don't get it? That's, that's, that's frustrating, okay? That's silly. That's silly, okay? Silly. Anyway, so I've been playing this deck. I'm so, I'm so frustrated. I held that chest for like two days and didn't open it. Just so I could open it and get a legendary, but I didn't. Anyway, so this deck I've been playing, um, it's kind of fun. We're going to play it in a classic challenge real quick here. It uh, features the hog, of course, because that's all they use, pretty much. Anyway, that's my favorite card. So we're going to play that, and we'll see how it does in this uh, challenge here. We'll play a couple matches, see if we can get going on this. All right, so we'll just throw a furnace there because he's going to put something behind there and just try and kill us. That's okay. We should be able to take those minions out a little bit with the furnace. Oh, the minion's going to take our furnace out. That was a good play on his part. Absolutely a good play. So we're going to attack really hard with the hog rider. I want to do the log, but I don't know if it's going to do any good. Oh, crap. Man, that E-Wiz, man. What a great defensive card, the E-Wiz, man. If you can fit that in your deck. Oh, crap. We may have a little bit of an issue here. Whereas, I think I played... Oh man, that stinking graveyard is killing me. Killing me. Stop it. Just stop. Oh my gosh. Luckily, I have so many flipping cards I can cycle through. It kind of helped, but I still think we got pwned on that play there. I did not see that coming. I haven't seen a graveyard in a long time in a challenge, so that was my bad. Um, so now we're going to have to set up another defensive push here. So we'll start with the furnace again. Does he have his Ice Golem still? Because he's going to do the same thing he did last time. So he's going to go Ice Golem. We'll wait here. Yeah, we'll wait for his cannon. We'll wait for it. And then we'll just go Hog Rider in the back here. And then we'll launch our Ice Spirit as soon as we can up here. It looks like he's going that other side. So we'll throw... Oh, shoot. How do I miss the... How do I miss the... Oh, my gosh. I'm so... When I'm recording and playing, I just miss everything it's horrible you know what screw that tower. <laughs> I don't need that tower anyway <laughs> I'm not even gonna worry about it <laughs> I better I better kind of worry about those skeletons though huh <laughs> holy crap <laughs> those things like a mass like an army that's good because now <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> what <laughs> dude I was killing it with this deck just a minute ago <laughs> like I was literally just playing this deck and didn't have any problems and then I get on here and then 
<laughs> Whatever. Our tower should be able to take down that graveyard, except for those minions are tanking a little bit for it. Gosh dang it, it's so flippin' annoying. And then he had... <laughs> he had the ice golem tanking for it. Oh, good job. You got two towers. I'm so proud of you. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna attack both of his towers and see what he does with that action. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he did pretty good. <laughs> Okay, so maybe I'll edit this battle out because it's stupid. <laughs> this retarded battle. I'm still pissed about that legendary. How did I not get a legendary in a super magical chest? You have like a freaking crappy 0% chance of not getting a legendary, and I didn't get a legendary. Okay, 40% chance, 31% chance of not getting a legendary, and I didn't get a legendary, but I'm still mad about that. Anyway, okay, so let's get serious. Um, let's act like, let's act like I'm... This is the first battle of the uh, video, so we're gonna act like this is the first battle. No big deal. Here we go. Um, yeah, so this is a new deck that I've been playing with, and I do pretty good with it uh, most of the time. So we're gonna put an ice golem down. He'll throw a hog there. That's okay. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna freeze that, and then we'll put a little bit of skeleton action there. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and fireball. He missed our musketeer, which is great for us. So we'll throw a hog rider in right behind the ice golem, and we should be able to get a little bit of damage. Oh, I think I'm gonna. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Fireball that sucker. Oh man. Oh man. I keep. I'm like. I, I saw level seven. I'm like, dude, the fireball's gonna take him out. But nope. Just shoot him already. Holy cow. So we're about even. Ah, I got ahead of him. I did pretty good. Not too bad on damage. Not too bad. So we'll throw Furnace in here. As soon as he puts his Ice Golem down, we're just going to put the Furnace down. And then start putting the pressure on him that way. And then when you... Oh, Elite Barbs. That's okay. We're going to throw... Oh, come on. Come back. Come back. No, no, no. No, no. See, I put the Ice Golem a little bit too far out there. But we did good with it. That's okay. And then we're going to save Fireball for his uh, Musketeer. Just because that worked out really well for us last time. So we'll do that again. Boom! Shaka Laka. Come on. One more hit. So I'll just wait till he puts something else down then log it, I guess. Come on. Come on. Nothing? Okay, then I'll wait. I'm not gonna kill I'm not gonna waste my I'm not gonna waste my log on that tower right now, please. When I can probably get it with a furnace. Eat it. So we'll put Okay, come on, drop for heaven's sakes. We'll put the ice golem out there to soak up all that damage. Maybe the ice golem will take out the tower. Isn't that the best feeling in the world when the ice golem takes it out? Come on, get all the way to the tower, please. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Okay, hog rider ice spear, other side, just for fun. See, I should defend, but I'm not. I'm not defending. Because <laughs> I have no patience whatsoever. So we'll put furnace down for those little barbs. And then we'll log all that back. We'll put skeletons over there for no reason. And it looks like we'll soak up that fire spirit damage. And he kind of has a split thing going on. We're going to have to do ice spirit on the, that hog. Just freeze him just for a second. And because I didn't defend, look where my tower is. We had this game in the bag and then I totally freaking, <laughs> totally lost it. But that's okay. He's got his musketeer coming in hot. What should I do here? I don't know. Probably hog, musketeer, uh, that, that, <laughs> log, log all that back. We're gonna go freeze all that action, and then we're gonna drop that. Come on, don't get a hit off! Gosh dang it. We'll have to put a hog in there. Nice try. That fireball ain't doing nothing. <laughs> that zap ain't doing nothing. <laughs> that was desperate. But I liked it. I liked it. Excellent. See, see, that's how see that's how the battles go with that deck. So pretty pretty, pretty good. 100 percent win ratio. Anyway, thanks for dropping by the channel today. If you didn't see the log video I released over this last weekend, I think I released on Saturday, go check that out. I'll try and put a link at the end here. Um, be sure and subscribe if you haven't already. More sweet videos coming up and coming your way. And good luck.